Hi guys, Stuart from the Video Morgan here, bringing you a sort of a tutorial, but um, mainly an overlook of the uh, new attraction to our server. Now this is um, a pig farm, basically, and I'll just go in there, actually, so the, the door opens, yeah. Now uh, I'm using a painterly texture pack, so nothing will look sort of like, no, get back in there, nothing will look sort of... So, oh there we go. Yeah. Right, as I was saying, uh, yeah, you can take the text pack, so I'll have to explain as I go along. These are spawners, pig spawners. I made them look like creepers. But, um, yeah, this is the pig farm over here. So, um, all it is is blocks of uh, dirt or grass with spawners on it, and then a water stream going up sort of on here uh, with these what it is it's two steps there with a sign sort of oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I can right it's um, two signs either side and then a block of water on top and then um I'll get a bit dark hang on let's see. So um, as I was saying, we're blocking top, and that makes the mob. Don't push me on. Right, as you see here, that makes the mob go up the stairs and they uh, carry on going. Let's do that fight. Oh, there we go. And then there's another drop here. I've got these here to stop all backflow and stuff like that. And then, oh shit, I fell. And then just carry on going along here. Oh my god, I can go. Oh, I can go right over the top. Now, I'm using a mod called Quantum Controllers, I believe. Yeah, oh my god, I'm getting out of the boat. That's good. Alright, get out of my way. Come on, let me just throw it. Come on, there we go. Okay, so I've got and let's go back to the leader. Now this is um, a food made of um, quantum uh, controller. Now the other end of this is over here. Um, let's go back to the leader. Yeah. So, um, Back to this way. Ooh, a bit of frame rate issues. <laughs> this one. There we go. Ooh, a bit of, quite a bit of frame rate. Oh dear. Right, so I just met one up here. This is our mushroom farm, but I'll show you a different I'll show you in a different video. Cactus farm. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, oh shit. Ah! Oh, right, you can see there, that's the sender, so basically when that is switched, that activates. And I've got a switch in there, and a switch, just in case at the moment, but there's a switch in there, and a switch in there. So basically, that, um, I've got two lots of quantum connectors. That is connected to that one up there, and then that one is also a sender node to the one right the way over in that direction, and then that one is a sender node up to the one at the top. So basically, when that's activated, it activates the switch up there, and then when that switch is activated, the switch over there is activated, and then that's activated the one up there is activated. And I've connected, so this one releases the pistols, which are just there, so back here, and you can stop doing it. And then it also releases the pistols up the top, so if I just show you. There we go. Now this is 
um, another mod and it will absorb um, it's an absorbing chest and you can tell it's not it will absorb any dropped items as you can see and then another mod I've got I've got like a cook for a kind of stalk but sometimes it doesn't the lava doesn't pick them off properly so um go in there and then I can add um all about that pink I think you know that and then oh, I'll just show you this. where'd he go? I don't know Right, and then what I can do is I can hover over that and then pull slash S and that's a stacking plugin and then see it stacks when you see it there. But anyway, I'm gonna take a load of that. Take it with me. And it doesn't only work with chests as you'll see in a minute. Let me put this lock in there. Um, if I just hover away from the chest, then I leave S to it work on myself, as you can see, get nice and nice. So, anyway, that's pretty much the pig farm, in there. So, um, I, can, I made it all out of glass, just so daylight can get in. So what I've done is, um, let's see if I can get up there. Legs after a walk. Just check my my awesome tactics box. Oh, it's working. It's slow because I've only got two tactics. But right, I think I can make this this yeah. Ooh, there we go. Right, so what I've done is is um, a water stream there and a water stream there, and that direction in the middle sort of there now. And then when um, those blocks there. Once, once it switches with these, they're, um, they're, they're sticky pistons and it gets that, and they'll draw back and boom, down we go, into the lava. Now these are all held by signs, and that, and these, yeah, those signs there, as you see the pistons are holding the water back, and when those pistons are released, the water goes down and stops there to so sort of drop, and the same on this side. But, um, it's pretty self explanatory and um, I can bring her. And oh, by the way, the uh, vines are laddered. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's the uh, pig killer. Ah, uh, well, anybody for bacon? I just down here with the safe to put some admin and stack in. Switch that off. And that's pretty much it. So um I'll just go and walk over there. That's pretty much it. That is the uh, pig killer, the farm. So, um, basically these are pig spawners, not the average low mob spawners. The pig spawners, they spawn pigs, they run around here, basically climb right into the water. I know there's a couple of dead spots, but I'm not going to try to get rid of them. But it's all good. Other pigs are just not uh, making that way. So, other than that, I'm getting up here. Uh, it took a while to work out the um, water stream, but um, I have um, a channel called Ethos Lab, and he helped me a hell of a lot um, with his tutorials and that. I have to uh, get a strong suggestion like that, go um, over to his channel and check him out. He is very, very smart. He is brilliant at red point attraction. So if you want to run all the difficult mob stats and stuff like that, he's the person you really want to have a look at.
But anyway, basically, that's it for the tutorial today, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.